All right, so hold on. We're going to go for a wild ride on pistons and rods. Okay, so this is what's in your Model 38, 23 horsepower Vanguard. They're all Model 38. And uh, this rod's terrible, but notice that it's angled right here. I don't know that that's mostly for strength or just to clear inside the block when it's spinning around, okay? But uh, this rod is terrible. It has to be replaced. It does not have bear, you know, rod bearings. It's the rod rides on the crankshaft. So that's got to go. This is your dished piston for 8.41 compression. You can use it or not. It's up to you. Um, I was going to reuse mine, but I changed a bunch of stuff that forced me to change. It, it, it's a good piston. There's no reason not to use it. That piston has a big dish in it that's 10 cc. So the combustion chamber is 25 cc. So if you go to a flat top piston that is as tall as the outer ring here, it can't be, you know, you can't just cut this off and put it back in there. That doesn't work. Um, actually, you'd even have lower compression if you did that, but you wouldn't do it anyhow, okay? Uh, but uh, this equals 8.41 to compression with a 25 cc head and a 10 cc dish. That's 8.41. Uh, there's some stuff you can do with this also if you don't want to use it like it is. I'll get back to that in a second. Um, if you uh, replace the rod on this, you'll replace it with the uh, short rod length, and we'll get into that in a second what that is, but it's 4.134. Um, could you use this with the 4.262 rod? Yes, I'll get into that in a second, and that, that's when you want to convert your uh, dish stock piston to a high compression piston and you don't want to buy pistons so it's a poor man's way to jump up to high compression I'll show you that in a second uh, so then we have this right here this is a piston off an Intec uh, this piston uh, is as tall as your stock dished piston but it's not dished so you would put this on the uh, standard short rod 4.134 and you'd end up with high compression okay so there's Two ways to do the high compression. You get the intact piston and use the same rod length as the uh, stock engine, or you take your dish piston and cut 0 0.128 off the top, which basically takes you down to the numbers here, and use a long rod instead of the standard rod. Uh, the benefit to that is a longer rod changes your uh, rod ratio, and there's less pressure on the side walls um, of the piston going up and down, perhaps less vibration, and the piston stays at top dead center. A nanosecond longer during the burn uh, that's why they can have long rods versus short rods uh, but if you want a high compression um, a high compression long rod you have to use this and machine it down if you want a high compression short rod you have to get this and get the short rods that's basically the same thing um, that's the same thing so you have these two rods here the 6275 the 6276 the 6275 4 0.134 is a stock short rod. Okay, so you can use that with your dish pistons. You can use that with the intact piston that's flat top to raise the compression. Okay, um, this is the long rod, and except for carrier performance's gas ported racing piston, the only thing you can use this with is if you take your dish piston and cut 0 0.128 off the top of it, then you can have a long rod with a different rock, rock ratio or rod ratio and uh, all the benefits of a longer rod. Um, there's one other. Uh, combination you use this with but it's from carrier performance the other thing to notice is see how they're straight not crooked on, or you know like this angled over um, I don't think it has anything to do with strength I think uh, the reason they were doing this here this angling was to clear inside the block when these are uh, rotating so they don't hit the block uh, I haven't heard of anybody having a machine the model 38 block for clearance on this particular set of pistons from arc but that may be a possibility that as you test it it just barely clear someone you have to you know, get in there chisel something out that's possible it's not confirmed so um, I'm not gonna get into the high-end gas porting yet because I want to review this so you've got your stock stuff this rod has got to go you've got to go billet and you'll notice it's cranked over on the bottom I think not because of strength but for clearance while rotating um, and you'll replace it with either with uh, the two rods we just looked at one of these um, if you're gonna keep it low compression you'll do the short rod if you're gonna cut the top off of it and try to go high compression you'll use the long, long rod okay then your other option is just to get the intact flat top and you have to use the short rod with that 
<clears throat> then we get into carrier vanguard performance stuff this is where we get our seventeen hundred dollar heads these are the same two rods we just looked at over at arc racing and i would just order them from arc racing uh one more thing about these rods is they come with the bolts they come with the bearings so don't buy bolts don't buy bearings it'll come with that stuff so when we look at uh what they have at carrier they have uh different bores of pistons and they're gas ported racing pistons uh, for your stock board, it would be these, the 2.97. Um, these do not come with uh, rings. You have to get the rings separate. These have holes drilled in the top of them to get behind the top ring to push it and force it over to the uh, cylinder wall to have less blow by, more power, all that kind of stuff. The downside to this is carbon can block the holes and then they don't work. Uh, you can also get gas ported rings, but you wouldn't put gas ported rings in a gas ported piston. You do one or the other. Uh, so that's also an option with your other two pistons we just looked at um, if you can locate the rings I know they're out there um, these can only be used with this rod which is one of the ones we just looked at from arc racing uh, the carrier gas porter can only be used with the 4.262 long rod or you can use carriers rod and uh, this rod's heavier, he's confirmed that. I don't know how much heavier. Um, and it's also angled. And again, these are supposed to be stronger, but I don't believe this angle's done for strength. I think this angle's done for clearance on the block, okay, to keep it from hitting so you don't have to mach machine the block to prevent it from hitting. Um, so the only other issue is rings for the gas ported uh, piston. You need these. And I had a whole story behind these, but I'm not going to tell you anymore because it took five minutes. Okay, these are the ones you want. He has a link to Summit Racing. Um, they're just going to drop ship them from these people. Right, actually, it's, this is a Summit Racing one. All right. This is JE Piston site. Same exact set. Okay. Summit Race Racing is just ordering them and drop sh shipping them from here. Summit Racing has no idea if they're in stock. It ships directly from the supplier. So why go there? Go here. It's the same price. And they will tell you if they're in stock or not. And they weren't in stock yesterday which is part of my big story I'm not going to tell you about because it takes too long. You would need two of these, one for each piston. Um, so uh, in that case, you're doing like uh, probably $95 with shipping and then $220 for the other stuff. And then, you know, so this is one of the more expensive options is going to the gas-ported uh, racing piston. Uh, your cheapest option for doing almost nothing and just trying to get a stock engine to where you can rev it up is to replace this rod. And keep your other piston your next option because you want to get a little more performance out of it since you're already buying that rod is to get the Intec uh, piston which will work on the uh, short rod and really there's an option between those two if you had have uh, access to having a piston milled at no or low cost and that would be the mill 0.128 off of your dish pistons and just get the longer rod and you'll have a high compression piston and a long stroke rod. And then your most expensive is to go with the Vanguard gas ported uh, piston and either the arc long rod or the carrier long rod, which then you'll have to go find the rings and stuff for. Okay, so now hopefully you're not totally confused. 